Today, I was going to barbecue, but barbecue got stolen. I don't know why anybody would steal my barbecue when it's one of those little $40 uh, charcoal barbecue grills, and it was dirty. I mean, it still had old coal from maybe last year. This was going to be the first time I barbecued this year, and woke up, came outside to wash it and clean it. It's not there. Apparently somebody was desperate to barbecue and stole my four, maybe five year old barbecue grill. I still had old coal from last year in it. What kind of guard dog are you? You let somebody come and take the barbecue grill overnight. Come on man, get on your job. But you know what, damn. Why would you steal an old barbecue grill? I mean, when they were taking it, they, they must have noticed that there was old charcoal. And they took it with it because, I mean, I looked around the property. It wasn't like the charcoal was dumped on the grass or nearby on the sidewalk. It just, they just picked it up and, and took it. But it is what it is. I had a lot of good time and um, had a lot of barbecues and a lot of good memories that came along with it. So, B-roll. So what to do, uh, being that I have a couple of days in between shoots and in between my job and being a family man, I went online and I started seeing if there was pickup options for small barbecues. Uh, my budget wasn't big, but what I found online were those propane powered ones, the ones that I really want. They were like 250, 300, and right now I just don't have the space at home or the space in my budget to purchase that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a trip over to Walmart. So we ended up buying the George Foreman grill because just like I thought, there wasn't many options. There was just a really big barbecue grill. Budget was around 100 bucks. This is really unexpected. So there was a couple of things that really sold me on the product, the easy cleaning, the fact that it was George Foreman. I had a grill like this before, but the ones that you use inside, and I had a lot of fun with it. So I'm going to try this one out. It's probably not going to be my main barbecue grill in the future, but for this last minute scenario, I'm happy that I got it. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to open it now and start setting it up, and hopefully it'll make delicious food. I mean, there's one thing that I definitely am going to miss, and it's that charcoal taste. I'm just going to try it out and make the best of it. Positive vibes. So setup was super easy. It took me less than 10 minutes. All I really needed was a little screwdriver for the handle part. It goes on top of the lid. So the legs and the base and the poles that come with it, everything was just slide into place, snap into place. I like it because it looks easy to clean and setup was simple. Can't wait to start cooking a little later on, but uh, now I'm just gonna take the kids to the park. And I'm here at Trader Joe's. We went to the park, then we went and grabbed some empanadas, and then we went to visit our friend Felix who's doing something great for the community where he's giving free pizzas. We had some, it was delicious. It tastes like artisan pizza. Uh, lots of luck to him and his projects and his endeavors and everything he gets into from now on. And uh, I'll always be there to support him. So we're here at Trader Joe's now, grabbing some stuff for the barbecue that we're gonna have a little later. Love Trader Joe's, it's just that this Trader Joe's here is kind of small. This one here is like, houses maybe like 500 people, but like 15,000 people show up. We cooked some sausages, we cooked some burgers, some chicken, corn, peppers, did some light stuff. Got all the rice and the breads and the sodas and stuff inside. Waters, juices for the kids. So about to chow down, pig out, 
and just enjoy this time with the family that we have. I'm pretty happy with the George Foreman grill so far. I mean, all the oil, all the grease fell right into that little tr container that slides in and out. It wasn't smoky as when you have it with a charcoal barbecue where all the smoke comes out and the fire, but the damage that sometimes it does to the food, it sometimes burns the hell out of the chicken or the steak or the fish or the hot dog or whatever it is that you might be cooking. With the George Foreman grill, it didn't really do that. So maybe it's because it's brand new or whatever, but only time will tell. So far, it looks, I mean, I had a quick taste of the sausage and it tasted great. So let's see what's gonna happen when we eat it inside. From deep in